Hey guys, in this video I'm showing the top 3 lava hound decks after the recent balance changes and also how to play them. If you guys are new, feel free to press like button and for sure also to subscribe to the channel. And I would say, let's go into the first deck. Alright guys, the first deck is also the most strongest deck in my opinion and it's this Lava Hound deck with the Skelly King. The Skelly King is actually the only champion which didn't got any nerf in the recent balance changes and this is the deck. The deck is so so strong. You normally you have actually two spells but this time you're having three air cards it's so so strong especially it's the bait factor of playing fireball and flame machine you have the skelly drags and i would say now i'm also showing you how to play this deck hopefully we are getting actually 12-0 in this grand challenge but even if you're losing one game it wouldn't be that worse for us okay we are playing against contra out of the clan volcano stars and for sure you guys asking hey carl how should i play the skelly king and actually the Skelly King is so so strong in combination with the Tombstone because actually the Tombstone is charging, charging the Skelly King up but also in combination with the opponent's cards or something just naked um, with the Lava Pub. So now you guys can actually see perfectly what I am meaning. Now it's just time to actually ultimating that and it's looking like we are get able to get so much damage even if he's playing the lock. We already got nearly 1000 damage at the left lane and also nearly 1000 damage at the right lane. The start is so so good and you guys actually know what I was trying to say. We played just the Skelly King at the bridge. He played Musketeer and a lock onto us and we played also the Skelly King and the ult uh, onto him. So it wasn't a negative trade but still we were able to make a lot of pressure onto him and we were also able to get a lot of damage on the right lane. It's perfectly now let's see actually where the Musketeer is coming. Miner is going in and unfortunately we actually failed the um, the Miner somehow but anyways I said the deck is so so strong so we can do sometimes mistakes. Skelly King is actually going in the pocket and every Lava Pups which is actually dying is making one Skeletons ultimating that is actually a good play in my opinion because of that he had to play also the bats and the start is strong it's looking like he's playing actually the uh, how is it called actually it's a giant cycle deck called so just going in with the tombstone like that not in the middle because when we playing the tombstone in the middle it would be um, lock value when we playing the tombstone behind the tower it's not lock value and it's looking like actually to be honest we're having a big counter <laughs> we're having a big counter and you guys can see just playing the skeleton kings right now like this also having actually the arrows like this ready and the skeleton skeleton king is actually charging up the skeleton king is charging up that's the thing we actually wanna see miner is also going onto the musketeer but not sure yeah unfortunately the um, musketeers are surviving but anyways it's still 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 pretty good and just going in with the arrows like that and just going in with the mega minion like that also just going in with the tombstone like that and now it's just time for going in with the skeleton in the pocket skeleton uh, king is actually charging up instantly also just going in with the miner and i'm pretty pretty sure it will be a lot of damage on the king tower and also on the second tower just airing that and yeah it's a lot of pressure it's a lot of pressure that's why the flying machine is actually able to um, ship down so much damage onto the t king or to the second tower. Sorry, guys. Skeleton Dwex is going in. And yeah, it's fine. I mean, <laughs> getting some charge. Good flying machine, in my opinion. Good tombstone, in my opinion. Also kiting the mini packer away. And now just playing the next lava hold into the pocket. Great, great matchup for sure. We are honest. But anyways, it's it's cool. <laughs> We're taking actually the free match. Also just going in with the arrows. And I hope you guys actually see how to play this deck. Actually the trick is to try to charge up your Skelly King with the Lava Puffs, opponent cards or just with your Tombstone. 
Alright guys, the second deck is this Lava Hound deck. Actually, in my opinion, Arrows plus the Fireball are completely dead because Musketeer is back, Hunter is back. So this time we are playing with the Fireball and with the Snowball to kill actually the Musketeer sometimes. Yes, also the Inferno Tower got a buff, but you can't actually take a deck which is countering every matchup. So you have to actually accept with this matchup when you are facing your inferno tower you lost but in my experience you are not actually facing too often inferno towers so it's actually every every 20th game and then you're taking that so bomber is going down snowball is going down you guys can actually see in situations like that the snowball is much 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 more stronger than just the bombing um zap so the matchup is Good in my opinion, we are playing against the queen, it's looking like we are playing against the queen, yes against the queen, firewall with the arrows would be stronger, but you guys can see actually how I am trying to handle this one, you guys can see how am I actually using the knockback of my different cards, fireball is just going in, minions is just going in and it's hopefully we can actually take his tower down, bomber is going down. And unfortunately the bomber is not actually making somehow damage onto him. Now we're just having the skeleton army against him. Which is for sure not cool for us. But just going in with the skeleton army right now. Maybe he's going in with the earthquake. Yes he's going in for earthquake. So need to fireball that. Need to snowball that. Was a big over commit. But he has actually no opportunity. He has no opportunity to punish us. Because... The only card he has against us is actually the piggies and when he ha is not having any piggies it's fine for us just going in with the minions like that and for sure next time we need to keep actually our bomber or our fireball against the next piggies and then it should be somehow actually in my opinion a pretty pretty cool matchup this time lava hound is going in and oh he timed us perfectly actually it's kind of unlucky for us for sure Otherwise it wouldn't be that much damage and you guys can see that it will be a lot of damage. It will be a lot of damage for sure. But just going in with the balloon like that. And now it's just time actually to boost the queen into your troops. Boosting the queen into your troops. Just boosting the queen again into your troops. And hopefully the delivery isn't perfectly. But the delivery was perfectly. Luckily we are getting a second hit. Bomber is going in as well. So let's go guys. Now it's just time for the Lava Hound. He isn't having actually um, the Earthquake in the cycle anymore. Lock is also out of the cycle. So he can't defend us somehow. Just going in with Balloon like that. So the Balloon will actually walk further from the Balloon. And now it's time for going in with the skeleton army. And okay, it's a 2-2. Unfortunately, the lava pups also shipped down the tower. I mean, uh, sh boosted the balloon at the cannon, which I actually didn't want it. But it's fine going in now with the bombers. So he can go in with the piggies, but it wouldn't be smart when he is going in with the piggies, in my opinion. So we are now in a small damage lead, which is totally fine. We could just boost actually the queen into us so let me just boost the queen fastly into us inferno dragon is going in skami is going in bomber is going in and it's a lot of damage yes but we have to take it i guess we have to take it we have to take damage but ah, it's a lot it's, it's too much damage it's too much damage unfortunately man it's too much damage i did something actually wrong in this specific matchup just let me just play the balloon and can we get actually three hits yeah we got three hits somehow but it wasn't deserved i played the bomber actually the one time in the back which wasn't right but luckily we won and yeah i hope you guys actually see that this deck is also pretty pretty strong all right guys the last lava loon deck in my top three is this lava loon classic deck you don't have to play anymore with the arrows because the queen got a small buff but also the hunter and the musketeer as i said before got a huge huge buff so in my opinion it's important to use fireball zap actually fireball arrows is not needed anymore also playing with the dragons and with the mega minion is pretty pretty cool in my opinion 
And yeah, unfortunately, I had to do a phone call, so <laughs> I gave up the game I was in. Um, so because obviously, if I would have won, I would have 12 wins, and it wouldn't be cool. So let's search for opponent and let's see if we can get actually opponent. Otherwise, I think yeah, we have to cut until we have a match. All right, guys, we are now in a game. Actually, it was pretty cool that we. Um, cutted this out because the search time was I think over yeah not wanna lie but over 10 seconds I guess um, so not needed actually going in with the zap for sure I think all of you guys probably be, should know how to play this deck or how um, you normally should play this deck but let's see what our opponent is doing and I want to win it wouldn't be cool actually when we are losing the only game with our main deck because this is actually the deck we should play or we should be able to play the best so Lava Hound is going in for sure the bandit bug is so so strong in the offense because the bandit is dealing even more damage so now just going in with the guards also with the mega minion guards should be um, yeah fast enough great guards by my side and now it's just time for the balloon actually in the background I think even if he's going in with the fireball it would be so so much damage it's looking like he's going in with the fireball so I'm going in with the zap like that so he actually can't fireball that also the ghost is dealing a lot of damage onto us it, and yeah it could be oh I forgot the music by the way <laughs> so now you're having music it could be the tower trade, but it's completely fine. Tombstone is going in like that, so he can't go in with a bandit in the pocket. Great. Great, great, great. Fireball is going in. Just going in with the Mega Min like that. And yes, unfortunately, bandit is charging. But at the King Tower, you can take some damage. You don't have to be that serious onto your King Tower. It doesn't matter really if um, it will be 2000 more damage or not, because... King Tower is starting with 5000 damage, so completely, completely fine. We could go in with the next tombstone, and I think that's also exactly that what we are going to do. So, next Zap is just going in, and next tombstone is just going in. Okay, his ghost was great actually, to be honest. Mega Minion is going in. Um, yeah, and now it's just time for Fireball. Fireball like this. Yes, unfortunately it's the bandit again, but as you guys can see, it's not important to defend the whole damage onto your king tower. Because now we are actually even damage on the king tower and at this tower, so completely fine also just going in with the guards. So defending actually nearly the stuff flawlessly, mega minion is just going in and hopefully defending whole stuff pretty well. And yeah, we are defending that actually pretty well, we we're taking that some damage but it's not the uh, it's not smart actually to, 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 to defend the whole damage fireball is now just going in dragons are just going in and we could zap that but we don't have to we just could take actually damage now just going in with the zap and let me see if i can actually um yeah take the tower down Guards are going in against the magic archer in the pocket. Oh, card legend. Yes, we are in our prime. That's so, so great. For sure, also making a positive trade. Um, it makes us able to go in just with the lava hound in the pocket. Also going in with the zap is looking pretty, pretty cool. Tombstone. Guards. And that's actually it. That's actually it. And yeah, guys, I'm pretty, pretty interested. What is your favorite Lava Hound deck this season? Or which Lava Hound deck are you gonna upgrade? I'm pretty, pretty interested about it. And yeah, I would say let us fast open the chest. And then that's it for the video. Unfortunately, not champion, but still. Um, oh, no, we can't oh, uh, get any champion because of our Kali King account. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. And please write me in the comments, which is your favorite Lava Hound deck. See you next video. Bye.